Welcome everyone back to another Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle video. My name is Deep Free here today. We are finally going to go ahead and use the brand new Goku Black. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Hit that subscribe if you happen to be new for more content. Goku Black commends you to do so. But that being said, I am so incredibly excited about this. Like, you guys know that we went through a ton of summons to get this done. We summoned so many featured units, a lot of which weren't black. So, uh, fortunately, unfortunately, I don't know. This isn't mine, but mine only has one dupe in them right now. So as far as the team setup goes, right, I am actually going to be floating the supports per normal. And you know what? I kind of realized at the last second that I didn't really want the LR kind of coming through and finishing everything in one shot. So they're going to be floated as well. And I'm going to have Goku Black alongside Merge Zamasu and then alongside the STR Rose as well. So anyways, to get started, we do have Goku Black here alongside Merge Zamasu and support. So uh, Merge Zamasu is not, not by any margin, actually, the best link partner for this guy gets a lot better but let's go ahead and just let him go through right now i actually honestly honestly i kind of want i want, kind of want mine here instead i, I want to try to showcase the friends a little bit more because he actually has a secondary dupe so for now we're going to float the friend and then we'll have him come back so for the people that don't know what goku black does let me go ahead and explain it to you so of course he does transform as you guys just saw he is the time travelers category three key and 150 percent leader also offers extreme mints cooler you see him uh three key 90 percent so of course moving on the super attack the black power ball greatly raises defense it causes immense damage to the enemy and then the passive skill attack plus 40 percent at the start of each turn up to a maximum of 120 percent he has a chance to perform a critical hit plus five percent oh, excuse me uh chance to perform a critical hit plus five percent with each attack received up to 40 percent so with each hit he takes he gets more adept at performing critical hits. And then he transforms when the conditions are met. So you may be wondering, well, what are the conditions? The conditions are, after six turns, above 80% HP. So above 80% HP, it shouldn't be too hard. The below 50% HP after six turn ones were like, eh, it was really hard to do that to me anyway. Uh, but as far as he goes, I think he's fine. Now you may notice that in his passive, he actually has no sort of defensive boost his defensive boost comes from launching super attacks and or having supports like the STR Rose alongside him. So that is what he kind of does as far as that's concerned. It sucks. Um, I don't really think it sucks to have the defense, right? But I, it would have been a lot better to have it via the passive, as you guys know. But altogether, though, he's a very, very powerful unit. And I'm excited to try to see if we can show him off here. So we need to kind of slow down our pace a little bit because that's two phases or two turns, really. And in, in each turn, we've actually went through and one-shot the opponent pretty much. <laughs> so we're going to try to maybe slow down a little bit. I don't know. I think that against the Rudigarn, we'll be fine. But here, we're not going to really do too much. I don't really know if it even matters because he only has a couple more fa uh, phases left. So he's pretty much done. All right. So, again, we just need to maintain 80% HP when it gets close to that threshold. So that's... You know, in the optimal world, you know, for the people that don't like that word, but on a better setup team, whatever the case is, you have defense that you need and stuff like that. I don't too much mind getting low on HP, which is part of the reason why I brought the cooler, because he was a high-risk, high-reward unit, because he can put me in range for big bad bosses. So as you know, being above 80% isn't conducive to big bad bosses, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So I guess unless you get exactly to 80%, right? I don't know. Anyways, we're going to try to get that here. In fact, we should. Okay, so the Rosé unit can go in the front. Uh, actually, the friend is going to be the one that goes in the front here. Yeah, yeah, there we go. This is how I want it to be. I'm going to leave him in the front so he can get a couple of hits there. So, you know, the thing about the Rosé, or the, I keep calling him Rosé, but Goku Black, the thing about Goku Black here is, um, let's see if he actually crits. 1.3 million, no support. Attack's gone up quite a bit now. He's kind of slow, which is what I was going to talk about. Uh, no crit, unfortunately. But, yeah, um, the thing about this guy in general is that they have the LR Rosé, and they, they have a host of units now. And, and Super 17 was the first one that really took this whole progressive turn thing into account. You know, progressive turn, progressive hits types of deal. Uh, so Goku Black isn't a unit that's going to be instant gratification. You just have to, again... Get him hit a few times so we can get the built-in crits. And then, of course, uh, get the attack up and stuff like that as turns progress. He's a progressive unit, which actually, to me, I like because it fits thematically with the character at first when it's first introduced. 
So, by the way, I didn't really cover his transformation for you guys. Really briefly, uh, leader skill, I mean, it's the same, right? The super attack greatly raises defense. It causes immense damage. Exact same thing there. Uh, there is no turn restriction on that, by the way. He just raises defense indefinitely. Passive skill changes to being a 150% attack increase at the start of the turn. So no, like, after so many turns boost, like I was just saying, progressive. And then other than that, he has a high chance to perform a critical hit. And uh, that is a 50% chance. He also offers three key to extreme class allies. So he picks up that natural Super Saiyan Rosé thing with the three key passive support whenever he becomes Rosé. So we're going to put you there. Ultimately, when I finally get this sorted out, I'll be having this cooler in that last spot too. But we're almost there. We almost got it. You know, we might actually sneak in and get a Rosé transformation. If we don't beat him here, we, we have a Rosé transformation two turns from now. Because I believe this is turn four. Okay, a super attack right here, and okay, cool, no crit, no additionals, ah, oh, man, okay, okay, we're good, we're good, we're good, okay, so they, yeah, we didn't beat him here, I need to heal here because going into the next turn, we will have a transformation, funnily enough, with mine, uh, which isn't even the one that I've been trying to focus on, but I digress, so we'll even use this, buff the attack up a bit, we do have the Kai support here, so let's see kind of what's happening, um... 100k defense for this guy. His defense has eclipsed STR Rosés because of the fact that he does launch the supers, despite the fact that this one is rainbow, right? So there's that. You can kind of see the value a little bit of launching the super and greatly raising your defense and also picking off this guy's defensive support as well. So there's that. You can kind of see it a little bit. Also, this guy has a very good defensive number as well. He's not really hiding or not uh, too far behind just because of the 21% he's missing in the potential system. But for comparison's sake, mine right now would be at 87k, so he's not that far behind either. 12k defense, uh, defense difference, excuse me. Okay, so I don't know if the Kai offered the crit chance, but this guy should have a very high crit chance because here's how this breaks down. For the people that are wondering, no, it doesn't stack, right? This is how it breaks down. First and foremost, the potential system critical hit chance will kick in. Next, if that doesn't work, this should kick in, his built-up chance that he has here. The same for SSB, E, Vegeta, units that have built-in critical hit chance, whatever the case is, Trunks, whatever. And then last but not least, if that one doesn't work, the game will try to get this one. So, like, it, it pulls from different sources. It's not a cumulative thing. So it's a chance, like 10% chance right now with a level 5 or whatever he has it at, 12%, whatever. And then it rolls again with however many cumulative tips he's got, whatever chance he gets from that. And then, of course, the last unit. That is how that stuff works. It doesn't just combine into, like, a massive 40% chance. But more than likely, you should get something. So we'll see. Almost 2 million attack now. And he's not even transformed. He should crit. Ah, oh, he didn't crit, of course. He should crit, but of course he wouldn't. So we should go into this next turn, unless I miscounted. And this is actually turn 5. We should go into this next turn and get the transformation. And there it is, okay. So right on cue. Ooh, that AGL Rosé is still looking good. Still looking good. Okay, so he does have, like I said, a solid Link Buddy, and he also has, by the way, the, the Bulma item is still active, so he's gonna be very powerful here. Unfortunately, Big Bad Bosses isn't a thing, but I 100% expect to beat this guy this turn. If not, we'll actually go into the next turn with the other one, transforming as well. And the other one, by the way, can, share the links with the STR Rosé, and I believe they share six out of seven links. Funnily enough, this one is barely as strong as the other one was untransformed last turn. <laughs> but also, the other one could have been getting things like the secondary passive of the Kai, right? I didn't know if she offered the secondary attack support passive, the additional 20% chance that she has. Okay, so we are actually, assuming that cooler doesn't get destroyed here, going to go into the next phase with the Rosé transformation. Okay, we're not getting it. <laughs> we're not getting it now. Don't use units that are not in the category if you want to get that transformation. 
<laughs> Don't use units that are not in the category. But for the thematics, we do have the triple Goku Black setup. By the way, I'm gonna keep calling him Rose. I just I have a I have not used a Goku Black unit in this game, really, in such a long time that a regular Goku Black unit, because there's only a few anyway, right? Um, I haven't used one in such a long time that I just have the propensity to call him uh, Rose. So I'm just gonna keep doing it. Hope you guys know who I'm talking about. I mean, he turns into Rose, right? Can you crit? Of course not. Why would he crit for me? Why would he crit? <laughs> this guy should have such an astronomically uh, high likelihood of getting a crit. By the way, we are going to move into having a Dokkan attack very soon, which is kind of unfortunate because I do need the turns to get the attack up. Oh, hey, mine has support here. He's going to get hit a couple of times, too. That's good. This is actually a really good setup for mine. With only a 40% attack increase, though. Wait, where are you better at? Okay, I was going to say. There's no point in trying not to get it. I'm just going to go for it. There's no point. We're just going to get it against this guy anyway. At least maybe we'll get a crit here. All right, let's go. Hopefully, we get a crit to keep. And, of course, like I said, this is a very accurate but not accurate representation at the same time. At the bare minimum, though, he has big bad bosses. Wait, does Merjimasu have that link? Hello? I don't think. Okay, he does. Okay, I was going to say, wait, I don't know why. I don't know, man. I wouldn't know why he wouldn't have it, but. And crit. Oh, man, I have not seen a single crit from these guys. Oh, the additional. That's amazing for his defense. I want to check his defense number next time we have him. Of course, it'll be a little bit lower because the Kai won't be here, but it should be really high now. Great job, Merge Zamasu. When are we getting an LR Merge Zamasu? I really thought that the next LR to come into the game would be Merge Zamasu. And you know what? The next summonable LR could very well be, but I have a feeling that it's going to probably be Broly movie related, unfortunately. But I feel like LR Merge Zamasu needs to be a thing. I, th I feel like Zamasu just in general deserves it. Because a lot of what we get from that saga of Dragon Ball is just Goku Black units. Because, of course, Goku Black is the most hyped character aside from Vegito Blue, which is why, obviously, they market them together, right? And a lot of the dual Dokkan fests and stuff like that. But still, I do feel like Murtzumasu deserves something, right? Of course he dodged. But, I mean, I still, we, get, we still get the defense boost, so there's that. We do have the flute item, by the way. So we are, if you didn't see it earlier, we are not going to deal with the dodging. We are going to make it to where we can take it away and try to beat him ASAP. But you know what? I'm going to probably cheese this a little bit just to see if maybe we can get uh, the transformation to kick in for both of these units a little bit sooner. Okay, so we're going to put you in the last spot. You know, Sneaky, the LR is going to be sneaky good here because of the fact that every off rotation they're going to be getting hit and stuff like that. So they're already going to take one attack here. So they're, they're going to be – I'm going to give them supers. I'm going to give them ultra supers if possible. I just won't have them on my main rotation. But you know what? To be honest, to be honest, I've been kind of – I got to pick up the link disparity. I think I've been shafting this Goku Black like I said in the very beginning anyway. I think he links better with the LR, so I might just do that. I might just do that. I was actually going to initially have Intamasu on the team too for the Cold Judgment link, but decided not to at the last second. I think I'm going to pull all this up on the side and just see how much he's really losing by being with this guy, if anything, for that matter. Um, all right, so for this setup, what are we doing? So 117,000 defense for this Goku Black with this Kai here. Again, it's you see her overlay pop up, but it's impossible to know, I guess, unless you look at the stats uh, religiously to know whether or not she's offering that secondary buff because she has a chance for an additional 20% attack. Or defense. It's not both. It's and or. But she could potentially give both. A couple of attacks are coming through. Hopefully we get a critical hit here because, again, critical hit chance is high. There we go. We finally get a critical hit. All right. So he is finally going maxed out, Hirudagon. You know what? The freaking LR, I didn't even consider this. The LR has almost every single link, barring Legendary Power and Cold Judgment. I think they have literally every single link the same, and I'm certain Merzimasu isn't as good. 
So I'm going to float the Merge the Monster from here. Yep, there it is. Merge the Monster is nowhere near as good. He has uh, G Power, which is 15%. He has Fuse Fighter. You know, but everything else is the same, I guess. But not as good. Uh, on my brief ob observation, hopefully I wasn't mistaken with anything. But we're going to let you go in the front spot. I am going to let him dodge me for a couple of turns. Just so, I, like I said, I can try to cheese the transformations out. Okay, so 1.4. And he does actually hit and get a critical hit as well, by the way. You know what? I'm thinking about Goku Black, and the fact that they don't they don't restrict his defensive buff is actually really crazy because it's not for a certain turn limit. It's just it's just indefinite. So he could just keep on stacking his attack. I mean his defense. So here goes our first transformation. Okay, so that triple rosé rotation, looking nice. Yeah, the my leader has actually more defense than the uh, transformed one right now too, which is very interesting because the defensive boost should s sustain through the transformation because that's how the other units are. Again, feel free to correct me if I get anything wrong, but I do know that's how the uh, Goku and Freeze are. When they launch super attack, their attack and defense goes up and it sustains. Uh, okay, so we're going to give you that. This attack increase is going to come through. Hopefully we get knocked into big bad bosses range, though. Oh, hey, should I do this here? I think I can. I mean, I think I should, because I think next round we're going to transform. I would like to get knocked into big bad bosses range, but I would more so rather have the transformation. So I'm going to use this. Now, if you were keeping track, the Int Rosé does not need to get hit in order to get his crit chance up. Of course he dodges it. Of course he dodges the one we actually care about. But for the record, he was 1.7 million attack. Just a shade under the STR, who is at 1.8. STR Rosé is such a powerful, such a powerful TUR unit. Of course, you were looking at the difference also as well between rainbow and not being rainbow, but still. Here we go again. Transformation. All right, let's see how powerful this one is. He has the Kai support too. 130,000 defense, 203,000 attack stat. Linked with the Birds of Masu, like I said. Um, unfortunately, the LR didn't roll back around soon enough, but it's fine. We're going to go with that. And this will probably be one of our final attacks of the video. Okay. Ah, so, oh, I wish that we didn't have the item active. We'd be in Big Bad Boss's range. By the way, I think both of his super attacks look better on one time speed. They just look a lot better to me on one times, especially the first one. Let me know what you guys think about that, if you agree or not. But he, for sure, has some of the better-looking super attacks in this game in general. You know what? We will play through the uh, Vegito event. Do we have Do we have uh, an advantage against this? I think that the Vegito events were weak to Zamasu units, weren't they? And it wasn't the other way around. I could literally just be talking nonsense. But I don't recall. So I'm going to try to pull that up on the on the side here really quick. But I, I, I think that could be a thing. I think that could be a thing. I think they had a weakness. I, I just don't remember. Um, it's, it's it's such a good thing that I have like the Dokkan Wiki open up on like all my videos. Huge shout out to them, of course, and all the work they put in. Um, Goku Black, Goku Black, Super Saiyan Rose, and Zamasu will deal increased damage, an additional fifty percent to Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Vegito, and will nullify his damage reduction. I don't know if that applies to the new one yet, though. I don't. I, I'd have to have looked at the event, but we'll see. Assuming that Boss Rush doesn't have those stipulations, I've never cared about knowing that, so I, I couldn't tell you. I meant to put him in the front, but it's okay. 
he'll at least get the offensive support from Rose's super attack. So this will be our final event that we play through. Hope you guys have enjoyed thus far. And let me know in the comment section down below what you guys feel about the Rose. Is he a definitive summon or a definitive skip? Ex excluding, right? Excluding the fact that we know that there's supposed to be some hype stuff coming soon for the Broly movie. Just looking at it right now, assuming that we don't know what's coming up later, of course, because, I mean, we kind of don't, but we do, right? Looking at Rose individually, his offense, his defense, uh, what he does for the team, his category. I didn't really show off the category a whole lot, uh, but, like, that type of stuff. Do you think that he is a unit that is worth the summon? Again, excluding the character he is, by the way. And it does apply to the new units as well because his overlay was um, was orange there. I'm surprised that the Merge Zamasu doesn't, though. So it's just regular Zamasu, but not Merge slash Fuse Zamasu. That's fine. Um, but I do know, like I said, I will keep this guy with him for now. Hey, we just got a sub. Kenny, I appreciate the sub. Guys, if you're new, you know what to do. Make sure to hit that subscribe. Uh, and we are going to give you the blues on the far right. Man, I really want to get the transformation. This should knock us into big bad bosses range. I really, wow. Okay, I really want to get the transformation. I really want to see transform damage because we would also have type advantage. I'm going to try not to super attack for the next couple of rounds. The tech one's going to do a lot of damage here. Ah, attacks at 1 million. Never mind. They're not going to do a whole lot. But they do 50% more damage apparently here. So, okay. let. I don't know if it's possible to postpone. I, I don't know if it's possible, but we're going to try. Too much key support. It's probably not possible. It's probably not possible. I mean, it, it's probably just not possible. I mean, look at the, the multitude of links that are active here. The key support, the offensive support. Honestly, it's just probably not even possible. I fully expect this Rosé, honestly, to one-shot in the front spot. 2.4. Oh, my goodness. I I expected it. I expected it. <laughs> I expected it. At least we'll have Cooler here, and we'll be able to show off a little bit of what this one can do. I'm going to put him in the front spot, though, because it seems like this will be our final attack. Are you better if you are in the middle or what? Okay, no. We're going to put you in the front spot and let you get those hits in the front because, again, it seems like this is just going to be our final phase and there's not anything I can do about it. These units are too powerful against this event. So we're going to go with that and this as well. He's going to get a couple of hits. Crit chance should go up by the time his attack comes through. Big Bad Bosses is still applied. A bit, it's been a couple of turns as well. Dodge face. Level 5 dodge. Okay. 1.4, type advantage and all. Oh, no crit. Yo, a crit would have finished it there. But of course, we're going to let the LRs bring it home. So again, thank you all for tuning in. I hope that you guys enjoyed today's video. Hit that subscribe if you happen to be new for more content. This was a lot of fun. Recommended videos are live on the screen. Check out the top one. We have EZA, Gohan, AGL, and Physical Type. They are both getting Extreme Z Awakens. I showed them off. Make sure you check that out. And down below, you guys have seen it all video. I don't need to tell you. But we have the ultimate duo. Over 1 million power level, PyCon and Gogeta on Dragon Ball Legends. You think PyCon's trash? Watch that video. Have an awesome day, everyone. And I'll catch all of you in the next one.